today's Tuesday tip. As outlined before, today we will talk about the interim final rule and the utility reimbursement and family declaration of assets. The interim final rule explicitly allows owners to make reimbursements of $45 or less per quarter on a quarterly basis in order to eliminate the burdensome process of processing and mailing monthly reimbursement checks. In the event a family leaves the program in advance of its quarterly reimbursement, the owner would be required to reimburse the family for a prorated share of the applicable reimbursement. Owners exercising this option will be required to have a policy in place to assist tenants for whom the quarterly reimbursements will pose a financial hardship. And now let's talk about family declaration of assets under $5,000. As you know, families in the PBR a program, the multifamily program, are required to report all assets annually. The amount of the interest earned on those assets is included as income used to calculate the tenant's rent. Tenants with assets below $5,000 typically generate a minimal amount of income from these assets, which would result in a small change. Owners spend significant time in trying to verify those assets. This rule amends the regulation so that for a family that has net assets equal to or less than $5,000, an owner and agents at recertification may accept the family's self-declaration that it has net assets equal to or less than $5,000 without annually taking additional steps to verify the accuracy of the declaration. Third-party verification of all family assets will be required every three years. As previously discussed, this interim final rule furthers HUD's efforts to streamline administrative burdens and requirements for owners and agents receiving subsidy under the Housing Choice Voucher Program, Public Housing, or project-based rental assistance, Section 202 and Section 811 programs. Specifically, this interim rule gives PHAs and owners and agents greater flexibility in determining tenant family income and assets and in issuing utility reimbursements. This is strictly voluntary. By allowing voluntary implementation, HUD enables participants to choose their desired method of administration, which in many cases will presumably be the least cost method. Again, read the interim, final rule, and decide which you will do. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you next week.